The first knot most anglers learn is the half blood knot or the clinch knot. It's a really useful knot for tying your line to hooks and swivels. And it's really, really simple to learn. So let me just show you here with my oversized hook and I'm using fly fishing backing because it's easier to see. So all you do is pass the line through the eye of the hook or the swivel. You take, take it round itself, probably about five or six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then just pass it back through that first loop. Now, if you stop there, that will be the half blood knot or the clinch knot. If you want to make it stronger, you can pass the tag end back through that big loop and that will become a tucked half blood knot or an improved clinch knot, a bit of a tongue twister. And all you do, really what you want to do with mono and fluorocarbon is pull the tag end as far as you can. So you pull it all down. With braid you could cheat and just pull the main line and you get a really, really neat knot. And before you tighten it fully, you'd want to moisten that with saliva. So that is a really useful knot to learn. It gets you out of lots of difficulties when you've got a short piece of line and you want to tie a hook to it. Just a point to note, this knot is not as strong as the Palomar or Paloma knot because this is a strangulation knot. So it is weaker here than a knot such as the Paloma Palomar knot or the Grinner. But it's a really useful knot to use and like I said it's probably the easiest knot to learn when you're a beginner.